iPhone users in India have been waiting for a while to get their hands on 5G services for a while now. But now since Apple has enabled 5G services in iOS 16.2 beta, the wait is finally over. In this video, we'll go through all the settings that are related to 5G on an iPhone. For example, how to set up 5G on your iPhone. And along with that, I'll also answer to some of the most asked question that relates to 5G. So make sure you watch this video till the end. First things first, let's have a look at all the things that are required. A 5G supported iPhone for starters. Yes, not all iPhones support 5G. Only iPhone 12s and later iPhones and the iPhone SE 3 supports 5G. So if you have an iPhone 11 or maybe iPhone 10 or 10s or 8 plus, maybe it's time to upgrade if you want to try out 5G on an iPhone. Next requirement is iOS 16.2. As of shooting this video, Apple hasn't rolled out iOS 16.2 stable version. So I'm using and testing all the 5G services on iOS 16.2 developer beta 3. But since Apple enabled 5G services on developer beta 2, so the basic requirement to use 5G on an iPhone is either you should have iOS 16.2 developer beta 2 or developer beta 3. And if you don't want bugs and glitches on your device, then it is recommended to wait for iOS 16.2 stable version. Now, last requirement in order to use 5G on your iPhone is to have a network service provider that is offering 5G services. I mean, that's very obvious thing, but I just thought I should let you know about it. As of now, only Airtel and Jio are rolling out 5G services and that too, they do not have any fixed plans as of now. The 5G services are still in very limited regions, so I won't be digging deep into that because the regions will only keep on adding. If you want to know if you live in a 5G supported region, just go on to Google and look for that particular place and check if your network service provider that is Geo or Airtel, as of now, has 5G services in that particular region or not. Now that you have an eligible iPhone, you have a network service provider that supports 5G and you are on iOS 16.2, either beta or maybe stable version, here's what you have to do right now. Go to settings, tap on cellular data or mobile data, tap on voice and data. Here you'll have three options. The first option is to keep 5G on. If you've selected this option, you're basically forcing your device to switch to 5G networks, even if the 5G networks are available in that region or not. And since the device is constantly hunting for 5G networks, this will result in a little battery drain. Now, next setting is 5G Auto, and this is going to be my preferred settings as of now. So if you use this setting, you're basically letting your iPhone know if 5G networks are available in a region, feel free to switch to 5G, but if for some reason, the conditions are unfavorable for 5G, just feel free to switch to LTE networks. And if you don't want to use 5G, just go ahead and select the LTE networks as it will turn off 5G settings and will keep 4G as your preferred network settings. So according to your preference, you can choose between these three options and yeah, enjoy whatever works for you. <laughs> now let's talk about all the questions that you people have been flooding my Instagram with. Now, the first and the most asked questions, do I need to buy a separate or a new SIM card or maybe port my old SIM card into the new one just to use 5G? See, the sweet and simple answer is no, because the hardware components on the SIM cards that we use currently are capable enough to run 5G configurations. Second and the most asked question is, does my iPhone support 5G? So I think I've already answered this question, but if you want to know what all iPhones support this video, just check out this list and you'll be good to go. Now, the next question is, which network support 5G? And I've already answered this question as well in this video, but once again, letting you all guys know, as of now, Airtel and Jio have rolled out 5G services. V is currently testing it in beta phase and will be soon catering to 5G users. Next question is, how much will 5G recharges cost for prepaid consumers? 5G is still limited to very less number of cities and companies haven't figured out all the plans for 5G recharges. Yeah, the plans that we have for 4G networks. According to my research, I somewhere read that Jio will be offering a plan for 239 that will have unlimited data and calling. And since Jio is following that path, Airtel will be definitely following same. So we can expect 239, maybe 240 or 250 is going to be the new 199 recharge. Yeah, the same 199 recharge that most Indian consumers are habitual of uh, you know buying but again it's not yet confirmed and it's still in testing so yeah it's 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 not official as of now so that is it for this one do let me know in the comments down below if you have any thoughts or questions about 5g i'll be more than happy to answer all of them if you're watching this video till this point do let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel and make sure you download the iGeeks blog app from the app store if you want to stay updated with everything apple this is me are signing off and i'll see you in the next one